The big banks are beginning to pass on the latest rate hike delivered by the Reserve Bank to indebted households, sending their mortgage obligations to record highs. Let's go to Joel Philp in Canberra. Joel, good morning. The Treasurer, Jim Chalmers, has tried to distance himself from the RBA's decision. That's right, Pete, and economists are acknowledging that these 12 rapid-fire rate hikes are creating imbalances in society, disproportionately hurting some while benefiting others. So mortgage holders are fundamentally the collateral damage of the RBA's fight against inflation. And thanks to this decision by the RBA yesterday, many variable mortgage rates will now be comfortably above 6% in Australia, closing in on that 6.8% rate of inflation. But the RBA has flagged more interest mate rates hikes may be needed with their a ups there being an upside risk to inflation the treasurer jim chalmers has tried to de distance himself from this decision while defending labor's policies amidst criticisms that they are effectively expansionary uh, i do expect that there'll be a lot of australians who will find this decision difficult to understand it's for the reserve bank and its board in the usual way uh, to explain and defend the decisions that it takes independently we needed a budget that was fighting inflation first inflation is coming from canberra not from the kremlin not from anywhere else but it is coming as a result of a cocktail of policies that we've seen from labor the shadow treasurer, Angus Taylor, there trying to lay some of the blame on the government. And, of course, the question is, after a significant amount of criticism has been lumped on the Reserve Bank Governor, Philip Lowe, in recent years, whether any of the mud being thrown at the treasurer will start to stick at some point. Today, we get GTP data out, which will indicate uh, it is predicted an anemic level of growth within the Australian economy over the past three months. And the RBA Governor himself is also addressing a banking summit in Sydney. Pete. All right, Joel, thanks.